Welcome back. Well, the sun is shining in western Washington. Meteorologist Jordan Wilkerson joining us from her home studio, as we're calling it. Jordan, how are you today? <laughs> I'm doing well. How are you, Steve? Good, good, good. Well, Glad to see you again. Hopefully doing well as well. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you too. I heard you asking about the supermoon. So basically what makes it a supermoon is when it is closest to Earth. And so it, there, it goes through different phases, you know, apogee and perigee. Perigee is when it is closest to us in its orbit. And, and that happened during this time. So that's why it was the supermoon. A blue moon is when we have two full moons in the same month, which we will in October. We'll have one at the beginning of the month and then on Halloween. That one's going to be cool. All right, let's get to the forecast, though. Looking at our satellite and radar, we are watching mostly clear skies out there. It is a gorgeous start to the day. Here is a look outside right now with our waterfront tower camera, and you can just see that sun shining on the water, blue skies, a little bit hazy out there. You can see, though, if you look closely, the mountain is out in the background. 55 degrees right now on the waterfront, so we're definitely feeling warmer already. We have a northwest wind around 8 miles per hour. These temperatures elsewhere. So 56 in downtown Seattle. We've got 56 in Bremerton, 59 in Shelton. So already near 60 there as well as in Forks, 55 in Bellingham. And you'll see that 24 hour temperature difference. We told you that high pressure ridge was going to be building in and we told you we were going to get warmer. And boy, how much warmer have we gotten from this time yesterday? Well, Shelton, you are 11 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. Olympia is 8 degrees warmer as well as in Tacoma, 9 degrees warmer right now in Bremerton. And we're going to keep getting warmer, guys, tomorrow is probably going to be our warmest day of the week. But it's time for Fido's forecast to get you through the day ahead. And this is Brody. And Brody is enjoying the sunshine. No, this is not my Brody. My Brody is a terrier mix. This looks like, um, I don't, a King Cavalier maybe? I'm... Cocker Spaniel, something like that. Thank you, Heather, my director coming in my ear there. <laughs> so you can see that it's going to be great dog walking weather, whatever you have, though. And uh, temperatures are going to be right near 60 once again. So beautiful, beautiful day ahead. In the mountains, we're looking sunny as well. Temperatures will be ranging in the upper 40s to about the mid 50s. We'll have an easterly wind around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And you can see that snow level bumping up to 10,000 feet. So no issues there. And as you take a look at your seven-day forecast, that ridge of high pressure is going to stay with us through the end of the week. It will start to flatten out though as we get towards the end of the week and that's why we bring back more cloud cover. Saturday we do have a chance for a few showers. It shouldn't be a deluge but we do expect widespread scattered light showers and then Sunday for Easter it's looking pretty nice as well and you can see those temperatures staying close to 60 degrees for the extended forecast. However like I said tomorrow Steve is going to be the warmest where we could see mid 60s maybe even some upper 60s.